Hey guys, Popular Boat here, playing some more Hearts of Iron 4 in a brand new stream, brand new campaign. Well, sort of brand new. We're going to be revisiting our Netherlands Steel Wall campaign in the 1.52 beta patch. Now, it's been a while since I've tried this on stream. I've had a few practice runs. Um, I've also just cleaned out my saves folder. It was like 1.3 gig worth of saves. Uh, let's go steel wall. And let's make a start. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. Okay, first things first. We are going to be playing as Netherlands. The steel wall campaign is trying to hold our lines against the German menace. And our strategy for doing that is building some heavy tank destroyers. Lining our troops with steel, holding off the Germans, and I think we might join the Allies and see if we can help France hold their own lines as well. Now let's get our first three techs in. Faster research time as always, faster production efficiency, and faster construction. Now, we're going to start with a couple civ factories, and then transition over to pretty much just doing military factories. We're also going to be doing a couple boats to get us started. And we're going to make sure we merge our fleets. Pick a national focus. Actually, oh, we're going to be doing an old bit of a cheesy tactic that I used to do. And uh, that'll certainly help with the new system of being able to do decisions. Hello, Alien Surreal. Aliens are real. Aliens are real makes way more sense. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Alright, I think we've got our setup done. Crank it up to speed 5. Now, the thing we can do, um, before you select your national focus, it saves up to 10 days of progress. While that 10 days is happening, we produce extra political power because it's not getting turned into a national focus. So every 5 national focuses we pick, well, oh, if we if we save it up every single time, we get extra political power. And playing a minor nation in the scenario we're trying to do, it's going to make a bit of a difference for us. And bump. All right, uh, we're going to start with political effort. We need that political power to go fascist. And they are real indeed. Yes, exactly. Now, what we're also going to do is milk the shit out of our colonial, or well, our colony. We're going to use their manpower obscenely, and we're going to cheese it a little bit here as well. So we're going to train up these colonial divisions, which is only, what, like 4,000 men or something? 2,000 men. We're going to train them up here, then we're going to grab those divisions, switch them out to the colonial divisions, free up all of that manpower for tanks, and, well not tanks, um, boats and air force, and, um, just keep them training. Actually, we don't need a line against Germany. Our first target is going to be Belgium. This will screw up their training. Like, they'll lose a lot of, um... Oh, they didn't really, actually. I was expecting them to lose a lot of their experience, but they don't seem to be. Now, compared against this... 9,000 manpower, 900 equipment... 900 equipment, 900 manpower. So what we're going to do is we're going to train up these colonial divisions locally using our own manpower pool. Once they get spat out, we're going to turn them into these colonial divisions using the manpower of our colonial state. I reckon we'll just crank a lot of these out early. Alright, and that is pretty much our setup for now. <clears throat> How's everyone doing today? I'm actually streaming at a time that's friendly for Europe for a change. So it should be what, about 11am for a lot of you? Alright, Rhineland's been remilitarized. We're not going to pick a focus straight away. We are actually going to pick our fascist demagogue straight away. And then we're going to wait those 10 days. During the 10 days, we're earning two political power instead of one if we had picked a focus straight away. 
Ah, although that doesn't really help because picking a focus costs us the 10. Alright, well disregard that. They had actually thought of it. Um, I want to go army effort before we do the thing. Okay, so saving it up doesn't matter at all. Perfect. <laughs> it seemed to work one time, but maybe I wasn't paying enough attention. 1pm there. Do you guys have daylight savings at the moment? Or is it just some nonsense? Yeah, one o'clock. Ah, okay. Spain's declared on Spain. Mechanical computing. Trying to form the Holy Roman Empire myself. I want to do. Oh, I want to have a crack at doing that soon. I don't know who you have to be to do it though. I assume Austria. I haven't had a look into a lot of the formable nations. Alright, what are the bets on who's going to win? Spain backed by Germany, or Spain backed by Soviets? Uh, we do actually need some extra steel. We'll get that off France. UK. We'll get it off the UK. That way they'll like us a little more. Uh, and this navy needs to be merged. Need to put a dude in for charge. And he's going to be doing convoy raiding over here. This is going into there. Um, let's resume. It's going into there. Alright. We set the clock forward an hour like two weeks ago. Okay, so you're on you're on daylight savings. Thing is, you must play as Germany. Return the Kaiser in Hindenburg must survive. Hindenburg is in the blimp. Hmm. All right, army effort is done. Hmm. Let's get doctorate effort two. Just because it's a little early for the industrial effort. Like, I want to complete this one and have this one started by the time we get the, the discount, I think. Let's see how we go. <sighs> oh, and Ally Britain. Hmm, alright. Now, we need to open up political discourse. Don't want to have a um, civil war. Now, these divisions need to go straight into this group. Get on that front. Switch them over to the correct one. Yeah, that'll completely nuke their training. But that's fine, we don't have to wait for them to travel across the world. We could actually, if we train up the larger division and then swap them out, that might work better for us. It'll just cost us more equipment to get started in. Now as long as we swap them out, we get to take full advantage of their 800,000 manpower. Alright, construction one is done. We need to make a start on Doctrine. And because we're going for tanks, I think we'll have a crack at the Mobile Warfare Doctrine. Make sure our tanks are really strong. And have a lot of bonuses against them. Italy's taken out Ethiopia. We're playing on historical focuses, so the allies should do their thing and the Axis should do their thing properly. Our main challenge is trying to knock out Belgium and Luxembourg before they get guaranteed. Alright, let's have a look here. I would like to discredit the government. We've completed doctrine effort. Let's get ind industry started. All 
Alright, they're almost trained up. When they get there, we'll stop training so we're not burning equipment. We also have to grab our planes and move them back home. And our other fleet can have a dude. It's way over here, and he's just going to be set on convoy escorts. This fleet can have their home base set to here so they don't have to sail in there to get home. I don't want to get caught by the German fleet. And after that is completed, we're going to start building factories. Now, where are we up to? September. Not quite early enough to start those. So let's go with more Doctrine. <clears throat> let's make sure we just keep getting all the men out. Equipment we'll worry about once we start fabricating claims, but we should be able to stay on top of it. Now if we swap him out, is he going to lose experience? No. Perfect. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Um, now, our first focus. Don't care too much about Captain of Industry at the moment. We're not going to build too many Civ factories, because we'll get a lot of them from focuses, so I think we'll go Industrial Concern, so we can crank through our Industrial Tech faster. So when we have factories, they can produce more using the, um, the buffs they get. So... Let's start getting those free Civ factories. Is the Benelux a formable nation now? Yes it is. It's actually um, repudiate the Treaty of um, the, Lo the Treaty of London. Blah, blah, blah. And then we become a new nation. I can't remember what the name is though. It's really nice. It gives us proper cores on all these, I believe, so we properly get our manpower and resources. Alright, don't care about those. Improved working conditions is nice. Hmm. Don't really want to lose stability to gain this a little quicker. But it would help. <clears throat> Are you going to form Benelux? We definitely are. We're going to unite, have a solid front against the Germans, and see what we can do. Alright, Concentrated Industry is done. Let's get Concentrated Industry 2 in 70 days, nice and quick. I think we're going to join the Allies, but we will be going Fascist. We need that extra manpower pretty badly. The um, 2%, 7%. Yeah, 7% extra manpower will keep us going. The hard part is going to be getting enough stuff produced to hold back Germany. Let's start getting some planes out. It'll make these these fights go a bit quicker. Core means more people to throw at Germany. Exactly right. Let's make sure we switch all these guys over. Free up that manpower. Just instantly teleport people from across the world. Alright, our daily fascist change is slowing a lot, so let's slap in civil support. A little bit quicker. Um, let's get support weapons one in. Most of our focusing, our focuses are going to be going down to get our extra research slot, then our extra doctrine, and then we should be able to start doing our political line.
There we go, Fascist Assault Divisions. Reduces stability but increases our recruitable pop and daily fascism goes a lot faster. We're pretty much going to get out 48 regular strong divisions. Uh, have 24 in the north, 24 in the south, and then we'll start getting some garrison kind of divisions out to to hold the French borders. Is the goal of this to take over Germany? The goal is to try and not lose to Germany, and then push back as best we can. The big risk is we join the Allies, and then... Ooh, okay, National of Spain is crushing down there. Um, usually we'll join the Allies. Uh, Italy will push into France, France will get overrun, and then we just can't hold our borders. Real goal is forming the EU, that would be pretty solid actually. That's that's the long term goal if we survive the first onslaught. Alright, we got our first thing. We're nearly at... Hmm. We might sit on that for a bit, because we're not that far off reaching 50% and it would take us another six months to get enough points back to just click the button when it's ready. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's expand that line to be cap of 200. Decisions are available, don't care about that. Not doing a civil war, we're waiting for that button to become available. Damn it, my game is broken, it doesn't do events. That's not... not great, Lapova. Not a good feeling. Let's keep going with Doctrine. Make sure we switch them. We also need to hire a new commander, promote him to a field marshal, and get him in charge. Spend some points on traits for him. I reckon we go for max entrenchment plus 30%. Ooh. Recovery rate's pretty important. Let's get, in, let's get recovery rate. Alright, 42%. Crawling along. Let's make sure we're taking advantage of the high infrastructure places. I finally, after lots of tries, had the Hindenburg survive. Hey, nice work, dude. Elections, fascists in government? Yes, please. That should put us high enough. Perfect. Hold referendum. Job done. And now we can immediately justify on Belgium. And maybe even on Luxembourg. 22 more. 22 days we can justify on Luxembourg. Good. Infrastructure effort. Infrastructure. Oh. Let's get our research slot first. There goes our Hindenburg Lopova. Seven more days. Now one thing I'm not sure of is if the field marshal actually has to be in charge of the line for his bonuses to apply. There we go, start that. Germany's going after their treaty with Russia. Oh, Republican Spain's still holding on. Barely, but they are. Alright, support weapon ones. Now's probably a good time to start getting tanks worked on. Yeah, until the game broke. But you don't need it to survive, only 30% chance it does. Yeah. 
I, I was going to say I'd be surprised if a random event is something necessary to make it work. Alright, we're denouncing Belgium idea Belgian ideals. <clears throat> we have to be careful we don't run out of political power. Because when that happens, this our, um, our things will get slowed down. Okay, these guys have more people ready to be swapped. They just need two more, so we'll put that back on normal. Make sure reinforcements are the high priority for now. Um, still in the July. Let's get engineering company started. We'll need the um, we we'll need the ability to dig in once we start having to defend against Germany. And let's get support equipment being made. Hello, Mustafa. Welcome to the stream. Alright, we're going to put a break in there, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you're enjoying. Like, subscribe, check out all the links below the video, and I'll see you in the next episode.